So this is my idea of the White House Library. It's, it was designed in federal style during the administration of John F. Kennedy. Prior to this time, it was not really a library. John Adams, the first pr uh, president to live in the White House, used this room as a laundry room. And it was full of tubs, buckets, and junk. During Millard Fillmore's presidency, which was from 1850 to 1853, um, Congress requested funding to establish a library for the White House. And that is when it was put in by the First Lady, Abigail Fillmore. It was originally in the Yellow Oval Room, and it stayed there until 1929, when it moved to the current location by the Hoover administration. So by the time it was relocated to there, there were not many books left. So the American Booksellers Association donated books and continued doing so in other administrations. And during the Truman administration, the room was reconstructed. That was in the year 1952. It was paneled with leftover pieces of wood from the reconstruction of the entire White House. They had scraps that they put onto the walls of this room. And it was not painted until the administration of John F. Kennedy, when the decorator recreated the room as a painted federal-style parlor. So it has a nice old-fashioned look to it. It has a fireplace. It has built-in bookshelves. It has beautiful chairs, tables, painting a mirror, among other things. And it's located on the ground floor of the White House. It is approximately 27 by 23 feet. And it's in the northeast of the ground floor. Besides for reading books, it's also used for teas and meetings hosted by the President and the First Lady. So if you want to meet with the President, you will likely do so in this room. Let me know what kind of books they have there. And this was not the only room that they reconstructed from the old pieces of wood. They, they did other rooms as well. I guess they felt very strongly in recycling, and when they redid the White House, they thought, why should they throw away all this good wood? We'll just use it to decorate other walls. So here you see there are two large windows in the back, with beautiful curtains, and there are several bookshelves that built into the wall. Alongside that wall. There are several small tables. There's a very large area rug with a very complicated pattern that I was unfortunately not able to really reconstruct. And for the most part, I would say that this style of painting is sort of impressionist, if that's what it's called. It's the basic idea without all of the real detail. 
since there are many, many fine details into this room. And this is a quick painting. So I was not able to incorporate all of these fine details. But you get the idea of a room full of books and chairs and tables. So this carpet has a sort of diamond pattern. They're not exactly diamonds, they're more... have much fancier, prettier edges than that. But this is the basic color idea that you get when you look at it. Red and blue on a background of sort of beige. And there are two lamps in the back. And this little space in the front is going to be a, a round table. And here it has a, re a reflective top that you can see from the back wall reflects onto this shiny table surface. And it has some kind of ornate vase with flowers and has a three-legged pedestal. So I will admit that not everything is in the exact place that I saw it in the picture. If you do look up White House Library you will see the same basic layout, but of course it's not exact. Here is a lovely chandelier. It has all these pearly looking shiny pieces on it. Very beautiful piece. And it has these fake candles sticking out of it. I'm not sure what everything in the room is exactly styled in federal style. I don't know what they had in those days and what they didn't have. I don't know if they had chandeliers like this then. But it's very pretty anyway. It could be that's just referring to the actual paneling of the room and the paintings and stuff, not to the furniture. That, I don't know. We're all just about finished. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other acrylic landscapes in still life. And have a great day.